Give us your best guess then. I just did. No, you didn't. You didn't give us a time. What, when do you think this is going to, are we going to be doing, are we going to be here two years from now wearing masks? No, I'm, I doubt. Jim Jordan asked Dr. Fauci the same question. Well, let, let me, let me answer your ranting again. Let me no, just. I'm not ranting. Yes, you are. No, I, I, here's how it works, Dr. Fauci. Right. I get to ask you the question. You're the highest paid official in the United States government. You've given us your advice on baseball, on dating apps, on cruise ships. You told us zero masks, one mask, two masks, now back to one mask. I'm just asking you, when is it going to end? You can say I'm ranting. I'm actually asking the question that the citizens I get the privilege of representing, and my name actually goes on a ballot. I don't think your name's ever been on a ballot. My name goes on a ballot. The citizens I represent want to know the answer to when they can get their liberties back. You, know, you can call I that ranting. I actually call it standing up for the Constitution, which I take an oath to uphold, Dr. Fauci, every year, every term that I serve in this Congress representing the folks in the 4th District of Ohio. So it is not ranting. It is defending the First Amendment. Badgering. And we'd like an answer, or your best guess, since yeah. you've got an answer for everything else. Well, when we get the people in this country vaccinated, the overwhelming majority of the people in the country, and we project that that will very likely be sometime in the beginning to mid of the summer, because as the President has said, when we get to the end of May, there will be enough vaccinations to vaccinate everybody in the country. It will the reason I can't give you a precise number, because I'm not 100 percent sure well, how many people will want to be vaccinated. Well, That's you, what I'm saying. If you get the overwhelming number of people in the, gave us, in the You gave us a guess on Texas. Look at the, look at the chart here. You, this is a seven-day average of case rate per 100,000 people. You gave us a, your guess on Texas. You said when Texas ended their lockdown, ended their mandate, that this was, quote, inexplicable and would lead to a, sur would lead to a surge in cases. Texas is near the bottom of the 50 states. But all the states at the top, all the states at the top are lockdown states. So how great was that? That guess didn't seem to be too good. You, what, what explains why Texas is so darn low compared to the rest of the states? Lockdown states have a much higher case rate than the state of Texas, which is like, over a month ago now, said we're not going to lock down, we're not going to have all these mandates that you say we have to have. Yeah, there's a difference between lockdown and the people obeying the lockdown. You know, you could have a, a, a situation where they say we're going to lock down, and yet you have people doing exactly what That's they want what, to is do. Is that what is happening in the top eight states in the country? They're just not, they're just not following what, what's been told? They're not listening to Dr. Fauci? I'm sorry, you're speaking so fast, I'm not even hearing what you're saying. Well, you can look at the numbers. I can't see that, it's too far away. Okay, well, Michigan's at 551 cases per 100,000, Texas is at 77, Wisconsin's at 109 because their state Supreme Court overruled their governor, their Republican court, and said, we're not going to have a lockdown in Wisconsin, and their numbers are five times lower than the state of Michigan, which is right next door. Gentlemen, time has expired. But, Mr. Mr. Chairman, it's typical when you're, there's a question on the table that the witness gets a chance to respond to that last question. I want to know why, I'll ask the, I'll why, ask why Wisconsin's at 109 and right next door Michigan's at 551. Michigan is locked down and Wisconsin isn't. I think the gentleman uh, answered you quite clearly. He didn't answer that. There's a big difference in being a lockdown state by order and being a state that obeys orders. <laughs> that answered the question, in my opinion. We have, and with we that, obey orders in, in, in the chair recognizes Mr. Kristner Morphy for five minutes.